Hello, everyone. I'd like you practice energized flow sequence today with you. Lots of back bend moving. So anybody you had issue of your low back, please mindful not to push yourself. And then let's start with the seated pose. So lengthen your spine, bring your right foot forward, left foot behind, and let have your hands on top of your knee. So keep lengthening and press down your sit bone and then let heavy head on top of your neck. So just mindful of your spine, nicely in line on your mat. So let's take a deep inhale through the nostril. As exhale through the mouth. So let's make a point with the exhale, let it go, inhale. As exhale, just let it go, anything so you don't want to hold. Let's do one more. Inhale through the nostril. As exhale through the mouth. Gently invite your normal breath in and exhale through the nostril. So settling your breath in here. Settling your mind. Settling, settling your body. Okay, so right leg is forward, left leg behind. So let's just bring your hands top. So I'm gonna just change the direction of, as you see easily. So, so some reason if your cross leg is uncomfortable, your knees or your hips, so you can actually bring your leg a little bit away from your body, to so slightly easy. Or you can sit top of your block or cushion anything underneath your hips. Okay. So inhale, let's bring your chest forward. Gentle spine movement. As exhale, let's curl your spine. Inhale, let's bring your chest ears away from your shoulders. As exhale, let's curl your spine. Three more, inhale, your own breath. Exhale, each exhale, you may have a little bit more space open up. And then make a circle with you. So stay in your hands on top of your knee. So it doesn't matter which direction you start with, make a circle. So grounding down your sit bone. And each vertebra, your spine is make a circle and a space open up with your breathing. You may close your eye and feel connected with inside you. And then change direction with your circle. Keep breathing and exhale through the nostril. Slow and then deep your movement. You might join in your shoulders, your head, or your arm with your circle. Okay, let's coming back to your stillness the center. So let's bring your hands forward, inhale. As you exhale, press down your palm of your hands to the mat and wide open your 10 finger. And then as you exhale, press on the armpits. So relax your neck and soften your face. Inhale, fingertips a little bit going forward. As you exhale, press down your on the armpits. If you like to, you can fingertips on your mat and a little activation increase. Inhale, as exhale, press down your under armpits. Stay a couple of breaths in here. And then gently walk your hands across your torso. And now bring your right foot, sorry, right hand is to the right side. So I'm gonna mirror in you. Left hand to the side, inhale. As exhale, let's away your right hand away from your body. So side bend here. Some of you might be your forearm is on your mat. So as exhale, left finger is away and open up your left side of your body. So next exhale, you may turn your head to the left side 
Gaze your left under armpit. Stay a couple of breaths here. Inhale. As you exhale, press down your left sit bone and activate your left fingers. And then gentle head coming back to the center. Unravel your hands, come to the center. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Let's bring your left hand to side of your right leg. And then bring your right hand behind of your body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotation of your spine. So turn your head to the right side. So stay three more breaths in here. Rotation of your spine. Inhale, away. So activate. So against your right, left arm, hands away from your right thigh. So let's bring your head a little bit to as exhale to the right. And then gently head coming back to the center, unravel your hands. Let's swap your feet. So left foot forward, right foot behind, cross your leg. So remember you can have a way. So just adjust yourself to make your best comfortable. So inhale, let have your hands top of your thigh. Exhale, let's curl your spine. Inhale, let's just three, four more your own breath. Exhale. So each breath, so you may have a little open up front of your chest, so front of your spine, and exhale, open up back of your spine. Keep breathing in and exhale as much as you can and deeply. So inhale, chest forward. As exhale, curl your spine and then make a circle with your spine. So press down your sit bone, keep, lengthen your spine. And then each breathing and then your, each vertebra, your spine is open up each direction with your, this circle of your body. And then let's change the direction of your circle. So you can join in your arms, shoulders, your head with your circle. This is the last one. Deep in and exhale, let's coming back to the center. Let's bring your hands forward as you inhale, press down your both hands to the floor. And then on the armpit is pressed down. So let's bring inhale, fingers a little bit forward. As exhale, sit a little bit deeper on your sit bone, on your mat. If you like a little bit of activation, is the fingertips on your mat. Inhale, press down your on the armpit. As exhale, sit a little bit deep. So let's walk your hands, close your body. Now inhale, bring your left hand to the side and the right hand to the side. Inhale, as you exhale, you might forearm is on your mat. Activate your right fingers and let's turn your head to the right side. Keep press down your right sit bone, soften your face. So side bend is here. And then gently coming, head coming back to the center and coming to the seated pose. So let's bring your right hands outside of your left thigh and then left hands behind of your back. Inhale, lengthen your spine as exhale, rotation. Let's turn your head to the left side, gaze your shoulder over, left shoulder. So little bit away, your right shoulder is away from your right ears. Keep breathing in and exhale. Let's couple of breaths in here. And then gently head coming back to the center and unravel your arms. Okay, and then let's come to the wide child pose. So let's bring your hands 
on your underneath your shoulders. So big toes together, knees touching your edge of your mat. So tilting slightly forward your pelvis and then grounding down your top of your heel. And then bring your hands forward as you exhale, press down your under armpit. So just have a couple of breaths here. Inhale. As you exhale, opens up the under armpit. And then walk your hands close to your underneath, close to your body, and coming back. Inhale. Exhale, sit a little bit deeper. Inhale. As you exhale, sit on your heels. Let's do two more. Inhale. So head is following. So head is guided to your movement. Last one, inhale, come up. So your wrist, wrist underneath your shoulders and as you exhale, sit on your heels. And then gently walk your hands close to your body and then bring your hands behind over your Botox. Fingers facing, to, uh, fingers towards to your Botox. For some reason, if your shoulders are uncomfortable, you can bring your hands, fingers side. Okay, otherwise fingers toward to your hips. Inhale, lift your belly, lift your chest, chin slightly up, let heavy your head. And then gently hips on your heels. Let's coming back to all four here. So inhale, chest forward, tailbone pointing to the sky. Exhale, let's curl your spine. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale. So gently stay in your hip is top of your knees and bring your hands forward. So press down your under armpit, happy puppy here. So a little bit of back bend to start here now. So under armpit is pressed down, heavy head. Your tailbone is kind of showing up to the sky. So you may forehead is on your mat. Stay a couple of breaths here. So can you feel the little sensation happening your underneath your scapula? And then gently keep the, your forearm on your mat and then gently bring your bodies front of your mat. So Sphinx is here, 10 fingers wide open guys and bring chest forward, the shoulders away from your ears, press down your groin front of your pelvis into the mat. So let's stay here, inhale, beautiful gentle back bend of Sphinx pose. So little chin up. Just to notice the sensation might be happening in your low back around your sacrum area. In here, this part. Okay, tuck the toe under. Let's gently coming back to all four. And then tuck the toe under, knees off your knee from the ground and down facing dog here. So let's just start here. From pedal up through your each knees, keep bend your knees. So 10 fingers wide open, guys. So just to remind yourself always your hands or feet is whenever you touch on your mat, grounding down. So open up your 10 fingers, 10 toes as much as you can. So let's bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your both heel up. As exhale, grounding down your heel, open up the back of your legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, grounding down. So gently soften your knees. Walk your, you walk the feet front of your mat. And then coming to forward, standing forward bend. Inhale, half a forward bend, lengthen your spine, hands in front of your kneecap or shin bone. Exhale, hands on your mat. One more, just like this. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half a forward bend. Exhale, fold. So let's bring your hands front of your, so just a little underneath your, so hip, shoulder distance the part of your hands. Okay, foot, feet is hip joint distance apart. So let's bend your right knee. 
Bring your left hand to the sky, rotation, gentle rotation here in. As exhale, let's swap your hands. So next exhale, bring your right hand to the sky. Your, your eyes follow to your hand, right hand. Exhale, inhale. And next exhale, left hand to the sky. You can stay here. Maybe you bring your left hand wrapping, wrapping so you can touch actually front of your right thigh and then increase a little rotation of your spine. And gently coming back. Left hand on your mat, right hand to the sky. Inhale, as exhale, stay or wrapping your right hand over your left waist. So let's bring your head to the sky, your ceiling, right shoulders away. And then gently coming back to the floor and then soften your knee and then gently, we're gonna come up to the standing. So just let heavy your head and arms heavy, press down your both feet to the floor and come up to your mountain pose, Tadasana. So let's come to your front of your mat. So hands beside of your body. So press down your four corner of the feet, big toes, baby toes, outside of your heel, inside of your heel. Four corner of the feet is really nicely grounded on your mat before we start with the sun salutation. So just mindful, the feeling, notice the feeling of your feet and arms beside of your body. Let's bring your hands, inhale as inhale, intra your fingers and let's bring palms away from your top of your head. So let's stay, inhale. As exhale, make a circle sideways and soften your knees and bring your hands behind over your back, into your fingers and bring your hands forward. Soften your knee if you need, let have your head front of your body. Stay two breaths here. Just a little bit of weight, a little bit forward. Heavy, heavy head. And then let's bring your hands on your mat from next of your feet. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands on your mat. Soften your knee. Step right foot back to lunge pose, fingertips, chest forward. And as exhale, knees on your right knees on your mat, release top of your leg. Let's bring your hands as inhale. As exhale, make a big circle and then let's bring your hands top of your so, so low back. So fingers forward to fingers pointing toward to the sky. So shoulders open up. So you kind of support your hands, your low with your with your hands, support your low back. So lift your chest, chin slightly up, shoulders away from your ears. Keep breathe. So last one, inhale and exhale. Let's gently coming back and then bring your hands on your mat. Tuck the right toe under. Step left foot back to down facing door. So inhale, come to the planks right away. As exhale, knees on your mat, chest between your hands, release. And now inhale, cobra pose, ears away from your shoulders. As exhale, coming down to the floor, tuck the toe under, press back to down, downward facing dog. So just one breath in down facing dog. As exhale, come up to the plank again. Inhale, I'm gonna chaturanga dandasana with you. Inhale, as exhale, coming down and then release. If you can come to the straight away to Urudva Mukha Subhanasana, upwards facing dog. And Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. So again, 10 fingers wide open guys, press down your mat. So tailbone is bring up, slowly soften your knees, press down your under armpit, heavy head. Gaze between your ankles and notice how you're feeling. Now inhale, let's bring your right foot to the sky, three leg dog, bend your right knee and step forward between your hands. So fingertips 
bring chest forward. And exhale, step left foot forward, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half a fold bend, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. So inhale, let's bring your hands to the sky, make zuckle. Interact your fingers, opposite direction if you remember, and the palms away. As exhale, arms to the side, and bring your hands behind, intro your fingers. So three, three more breaths in here. Heavy head, weight slightly forward. Some reason if you try, if you feel uncomfortable your shoulders, so you don't have to try to really forward, kind of a little bit as close to your back of your hip. That's also fine. Okay, let's bring your hands next over your feet. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Soften your knees, step left foot back, fingertips, lunge pose, inhale. Exhale, knee, left knee on your mat, release top of your legs, sweep arms up, inhale. Exhale, make a big circle with your arms to the side and support your low back. So fingertips towards the two uh, up, fingertips up. So chest forward, your elbows close each other. Three breaths. And then gently coming up, hands on your mat, step right foot back to downward facing dog. So inhale, plank. Exhale, knees on your mat, chest between your hands, release. Inhale, Cobra Bhujanga Asana. Exhale, low down, tuck the toe under, step back, come up to the down facing dog. Inhale, plank again. Exhale, Chaturanga. So low down your whole body at the same time and then release, come up to. Up dog pose and down facing dog. So stay three breaths in here. Press down your hands again. Gaze between your ankles. Just notice your hands feeling on the armpit, lengthen, heavy heaviness over your head. Tailbone is pointing to the sky. So imagine, try to long your spine as you keep the long back of your spine. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Three leg dog, step left foot forward between your hands. Fingertips, lunge pose, inhale. And exhale, step right foot forward, fold. Inhale, half a fold bend. Exhale, fold. Soften your knee, sweep arms up, inhale. Interact your finger opposite direction and the palms up. Chest forward, may this time have a little bit of back bend. And exhale, low down, fold and bring your hands behind over your back. And inhale, hands on your necks over your feet. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Soften your knee, step right foot back, fingertips on your mat, stay one deep in an exhale. And then gently lower down your right knee, release top over your right foot, inhale, sweep arms up. So let's gently mind probe your left knee, try to not too forward, not too less, it's kind of a 90 degree. Bring chest forward. And a big circle with your both arms, support your low back and then chest slowly bit forward. And exhale, hands on your mat. Tuck the right toe under, step left foot back to down facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees on your mat, chest between your hands, release. So cobra pose coming, inhale. Lift your chest, elbows close to your torso. Press down your top of your feet, chin slightly up. Not too much weight your hands is the lifting is coming from your low back. And exhale. 
Tuck the toe under, press back to Adho Mukha. Downward facing dog. So come up the plank here, inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Danda. So we're gonna come into down, whole body same time together. You can release together or someone maybe coming to straight away. Urdhva Mukha. Adho Mukha, Svanasana. Three breaths. So try to lengthen the whole back of your body, back of your skull, all the way to sit bone. Okay, bring your right leg to the sky, inhale, and exhale, right foot forward. Fingertips, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step left foot forward, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Soften your knee. Let's bring your arms to the side. Inhale. And exhale, intro your fingers, palms away. Lead a beautiful chest forward. And exhale. Uttanasana, arms behind over your back. Heavy head. So soft, so give a little bit of space between your knee joint. So if you can, bring your hands a little bit ahead of direction. But try not to hold your tension, kind of let it go of your joint tension. Surprisingly, you might find some space to open. Okay, let's bring your hands to the necks of your feet. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Soften your knee, step left of back. Fingertips, lunge pose, knees positioning 90 degree if you can. Lengthen your spine, exhale, knee, left knee on your mat, release top of your leg. Sweep arms up, inhale. Exhale, make a big circle, support your sacrum, low back area. So chest forward, elbows close to each other. Stay two more breaths here. And then gently bring your hands on your mat. Tuck the left toe under, step right foot back to downward facing dog. Come up to plank, inhale. Exhale, knees on your mat, chest between your hands, release. Inhale, Bhujangasana. If you can, let's bring your hands off from the ground. Shoulders away from your ears. Press down your top of your bones, feet into the ground. Release. Coming back, tuck the toe under. Downward facing dog. So notice how you're feeling again. Just stay in this, this moment, physically, mindfully. Okay, inhale, come back to plank here. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga dandha asana. So gently bend your elbows, coming down your whole bodies together, release. So now come up to up dog pose, which is extend your both arm. Chest forward, chin slightly up, and down facing dog. Three breaths in down facing dog. Heavy head again, press down your hands. Try to 10 fingers wide open like a dog fit. So your under armpit is stretching. And then soften your knees, slightly give a space guys. So knee joint have a little space. And then tailbone pointing to the sky. Some reason, if you feel a little bit of curve in your spine, you need your bend your knee and then extra open up. Okay. So let's just stay here. Long in and exhale. And next inhale, left leg to the sky. Three leg dog. Bend your left knee and step forward between your hands. Fingertips, chest forward. And exhale. Step right foot forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Soften your knee. 
Let's bring your hands to the sky. And this time, bring your hands front of your chest. So a little bit of slow down, arms up again. And then bring your hands front of your chest. Okay, so we're gonna have a standing forward bend, but try to a little bit of rest. So hit joint distance apart, okay? So soften your knee if you can, and coming to kind of Uttanasana, same things. But this time, pa, Padangushta asana. So like kind of a hooking with your index and middle finger with your big toes, if you feel that's okay, okay? So once you have a hook in your thumb with your fingers, extend your both leg behind of your both leg and then the spine is lengthened. Inhale, as you exhale, you might start thing elbows to the side, bend your elbows to the side, heavy your head. So just stay here. So your elbows to the side, open up on the armpit, heavy head. So you can, you might feel a little bit of stretching your back of your both legs. We'll give a little bit of rest. Okay, let's coming back. And this time we're doing same things, but this, this time your hands is underneath your feet. So palm of your hands is a fingers toward to you. So you might quite close to your wrist. Okay. So once you have this pose, inhale, as exhale, may have a little bit of bring your weight forward and it may close your wrist as well. And then I start to bend your elbow, heavy between your head is between your upper arm. So notice it might be slightly different sensation as before with uh, fingers grips. So weight is slightly forward and I feel this, your palm of your hands and wrist and the back of your leg stretching. Keep breathing in and exhale through the nostril. And then listen to your breathing sound. Or maybe notice just how you're feeling in this moment. How you're feeling physically, how you're feeling in your emotionally. It's noticing. Okay, so gently extend your arms. Okay. So walk your hands, we're gonna come into kneels on your mat, okay. So with the high kneeling for now, just hands on the top of your thigh. Allow yourself a little bit of rest before move on to the poses. Okay. So let's gently hands on your high kneeling. So hip joint distance apart of your knees. So inhale, arms up, bring chest forward. Exhale, let's sit on your heel and then bring your arms behind over your back. Forehead is on your mat. Inhale, let's do four more just like this. Exhale. Heavy head. Inhale. Exhale. This is the last one. Inhale. And exhale. And I come up. Tuck the toe under. So ball over your feet is underneath here. So it's in line with your heel. Okay, hip joint the distance apart. Let's bring your right hand behind over you. So as you're holding your right hand, the ankle, left hand to the sky. Inhale, palms face up. Exhale, let's coming back. And then let's, let, left hand holding your heel. So bring your right hand to the sky. And exhale. Let's do each side. One more. And exhale. Left hands. And exhale. 
So some of you may be trying to say exactly what we did before. Otherwise, right hand, left hand, and then lift the chest. Chin slightly up, heavy head. Take a couple of more breaths in here. And gently coming back. So let's high kneeling again. So unwrap your underneath your feet. So sit on your heels, feet together. Rest your hands on top of your thigh. Or you can have a hands together in front of your belly. So notice how you're feeling. Listen to your breathing sound. Lengthen your spine. Slow down. Okay. So let's, let's come off the seat. So it's just one side and extend your both like front of you. Okay, so Dandasana, so use your hands to take out and make, make your sit bone, finding your sit bone. So lengthen, so activate your, so flex your ankles, hands rest beside of your body, palms facing down. Just, just your spine is nice lengthen. Okay, so from now, so toe feet together, sort of your feet together, so you can if you can, you can bring your feet slightly close to your groin. Some reason, if you're uncomfortable, your knee and your hip, you can slightly away as what well we started. Okay. So when you are here, inhale. As exhale, bring your little bit of chest forward, and then we're gonna going forward. So as much as you can, but not to push. Just to, just to feel when is where is the best place for you. A little bit of challenge, but not too much. So just to communicate to your own body. It takes time to finding your own comfortable position as well as a little bit uh, challenging. So try to listen to your breathing sound. It makes helps each to decide to go, not to go. I mean, try to push or not to push, try to challenge or not to challenge. All your breathing sound, give a clue. Okay, if you can, you can bring your hands forward. If not, just to stay wherever you feel comfortable as well as a little bit forward and hip opening in this beautiful pose. Okay, let's bring your hands close to your body. So I'm gonna just face in this direction, right? So now we're gonna extend your legs, so wide leg. It's quite useful if you have a block or blanket, anything underneath your underneath your hips. So flex your ankle. Okay, it doesn't matter how much you wide open your legs. It's more like your understanding of your body, and then we try to make a little bit of challenging, but not too much. But try to not to spine is. Um, curl your spine, right? So just to play around, extend your leg, flexing your ankle. So you might feel a little bit of tilting your pelvis forward in this restricted position. So press down your underneath your hip knee joint, behind your kneecap, press down, activate your ankle, so lengthen your spine. Some of you might be that's enough. If not, let's go, inhale. Exhale, walk your hands forward, forward, and I feel where is the place to stop for you. So keep press down your behinds of your kneecaps, keep flexing your both ankles. You may go forward or half for Amish on your mat. Or may you can watch TV tonight just like this, like homework. So keep press down your behind of your kneecap. So can you notice the feeling of your inner side of your thigh? 
Or maybe some of you might be fine if it's slightly restricted. So try to feel this discomfort or sensation. Okay, guys, let's have a just last long deep and exhale in this pose. And then gently walk your hands close your torso. Okay, and then let's use your hands to get come back. So little each foot, legs together. Okay, so I'm coming to the side way. So extend your both leg now. So bring your right foot over to the, your left, bend your right leg. So half sure is called shoe raise, half shoe raise. So your right knees stay on top of your left knee if you can, as much as you can, okay? So flex your left ankle. So lengthen your spine, inhale. And exhale, let's bring your chest to the top of your right knee. So keep breathing in and exhale. Again, notice the sensation happening some part of your body. So just noticing. Just stay your awareness with this pleasant discomfort. So press down your back of your left knee and then a little bit going forward. And then gently walk back. So stay in your right leg. So just the knees extend. Now inhale, left hands hook in your left, sorry, right thigh. Okay, and the right hands to the sky as exhale, bring back over your spine, inhale. As exhale, turn your head to the right side. So keep against your left elbow with your right knee. Keep lengthen your spine and then turn your head a little bit to the right side. So again, this is quite useful if you sit on top of your block or blanket or cushion make your health to spine lengthen. Gently coming back to your head first, unravel your upper body. Come back to Dandasana, have a little bit of shake. Left leg, bend your left leg over to the right and then left knee top over your right knee as much as you can. Okay, flexing your right ankle, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, going down, forward bend. So stay four more breaths in this half shuraise pose. Keep breathing in and exhale through the nostril. So last one, inhale, exhale, and may have a little bit of going forward bend and then gently coming back. So standing your left knee, okay? Right hands hooking your left thigh outside and then left hands behind. So inhale, exhale, behind your back, lengthen your spine. As exhale, turn your head to the left. So your spine, your middle part of your spine, thoracic spine is rotate first, and then your head is the last one to turn to the left side, keep against your right elbow with your left, left knee. So as exhale, try to a little bit open up the space, your thoracic spine, your middle part of your spine, as well as your head coming to a little bit left side. And the head coming back to the center, unravel. So you might have a little bit of, shake your leg. Okay, so gently bring your hands forward as exhale. We're gonna lie down on your mat, bend your knee, hug your knees. So gently looking side to side, have a gentle massage over your back of your spine. And then coming back to the, your stillness. So let's bring your hands top over your kneecap. Inhale, knees away. Exhale, knee to the chest. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale again, last one. And exhale, shall we make a circle? So big toes together, knees away. Hands top of your kneecaps. 
in the opposite direction over your knees. And then gently coming back to your stillness, the center. So let's extend your both legs on your mat, arms beside of your body, palms facing up, gently grounding down your whole back of your shoulders. Let heavy your legs. So take a deep inhale through the nostril, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> inhale through the nostril. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> so let it go, something you don't wanna hold in this moment with your out breath. <sighs> and gently invite your whole body in rest pose. Each exhale, your body is a little bit heavier, a little bit softer. So stay in this rest pose, Shavasana. Three, four more minutes. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste everyone.